Hello everyone, this is Shannon for Waffle Flower Crafts. In today's video, we're going to create some really fun backgrounds with repeat stamping. I'm going to use the Be Him combo set. This really cute set has some wonderful accessories and we're going to use those accessories to create our background today. I've started with an A2 panel made out of some teal cardstock and I found the center point. You can see my pencil lines very faintly there. I went down the middle at two and an eighth and across the center at two and three fourths. Those are just the middle points on those measurements because again, this is an A2 panel. It's five and a half by four and a quarter. And now starting at that very center point, I'm stamped my first mustache, then two above it, and then I stamped two below. I am just eyeballing it but it doesn't have to be absolutely perfect and I think the eyeballing is close enough. Now for the second column, I'm just stamping these mustaches between the previously stamped mustaches on the left. So that, that first column is the most important one and once you stamp that, the other columns are a lot easier to stamp. I'm now already on the other half, repeating the process and finishing up with my very last column which is a partial mustache on the left and that completes that panel for my second panel i have coral cardstock here for this panel i'm going to use the little bow tie from the be him stamp set again i found my center point and i'm going to stamp my first bow tie right there then i'll stamp two above two below and once i finish that first column the other columns come pretty fast again i hand stamped this panel you could use a stamping tool like a misty if you prefer but i do think the hand stamping makes it go pretty fast so now i'm going to do some copic coloring on these bow ties i did stamp them in an alcohol marker friendly ink and i decided to color these in because the mustaches are completely black so very solid and just giving these bow ties a little bit of tone on tone color really makes them stand out a little bit more so i went ahead and stamped a whole bunch of images and accessories from the Be Him stamp set and now I'm going to Copic color them. I want to take this time to kind of go over my Copic coloring process. I colored the bunny first with my lightish shade of gray which was C3. Now I'm moving on to my medium shade of gray and kind of coloring the sides or basically anything that would be in shadow and then I will move on to my darkest shade which is C7 and color a little bit more of the bunny but I'm not coloring as far as I did with my medium shade just a small amount of that dark and now I'm going back through my color so again this is my medium shade which is C5 and then I'm going to finish up with my lightest shade which is C3 three here and kind of go over everything smooth everything out and that's pretty much how I do all my Copic coloring when I have a large area like the rabbit I try to use three Copic markers a light medium and dark but for smaller areas you can get away with two sometimes even just one color for the hat and pipe here I'm going to use two browns so because they're very small areas so I started with E37 and then I finished up with my darker brown which is E29 and again all my colors are on screen so you can follow along I like for white areas I like to take a really light blue and this is G000 and I kind of go around the bunny and the sides of the panda because he's white and now I'm moving on to my teal areas, just adding some teal accents. And again, this is a very small area. The bow tie is probably the largest. So I just got away with two uh, markers for those teal areas. And that will complete my Copic coloring. I went ahead and die cut everything out and added some foam tape as well to the back side of the, the critters and the sentiments and the hat. I did stamp the glasses, which you can see in the upper right, in abandoned coral distress oxide. I decided to stamp those in a color because plain black just felt a little boring. I also took the panels and ran them through my die cutting machine with the largest die from the nesting rectangles one die set just to add a stitched border. I'm now going to take these panels or these backgrounds and add them to an A2 top folding card base made from 110 pound white cardstock. And I'm just going to do both of them real quick here with um, just use a tape runner to kind of stick them down. And this one here actually has a little bit of overhang or, or underhang, I guess. <laughs> the white card base is a little bit bigger than the panel. So I just used a pair of scissors, ran along the edge, and cut off that excess. That's a handy tip in case that ever happens again. So now I'm going to... Um, start to assemble this card and adhere everything down. So I removed the, the backing on the foam tape on the bunny and the sentiment. I'm just going to center those right in the front. And then I'm going to use my liquid glue to adhere all the accessories. So I'm going to give the little hat to the bunny here. 
then give him the mustache because of course he has the mustache background panel and then I'm going to trim down or trim off the smoke for this pipe because it kind of blocks too much with the smoke but to cover up the remaining little smoke bits I used a white gel pen and kind of just colored over the little bit of smoke that was still on the die cut and that white little bit of white from the gel pen completely hides it you'd never know that uh, there was smoke there to begin with and just glue that right down onto my bunny now I'm going to move on to the panda bear again I removed the backing on the foam tape on the sentiment and the bear and I'm just going to center those on my card base I'm going to remove the backing on the foam tape of the little top hat for him and put that right on top of his head. Then I'm going to start to add my accessories. There's just two here. So I'm going to put down his, his glasses, which again I stamped in Abandoned Coral Distress Oxide. And now add his little bow tie that we Copic colored earlier. You can see how though, if the glasses were black, it'd be kind of boring. So that's why I decided to use some color. Now you can also see the glasses completely cover up his eyes. So to kind of remedy that, I decided to um, add some googly eyes. I thought that was a fun accessory. And plus they're kind of rounded. And so it really does mimic the look of glasses. I think it was a good uh, match with those glasses. And that completes my cards. I'll now hold both of my cards up to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details. I love creating these backgrounds with the accessories. I think it's just a great use of them in addition to decorating the critters. And they're just a really fun and simple card. I think this would be great for Father's Day or even just a male birthday card. I hope you guys enjoyed today's cards and video. If you want any more information on the products I use, please visit Waffle Flower. And you can follow us on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.